Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. How did we repurpose this old food pan rack into our propane enclosure that we found while we were curb shopping? Now, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the bell icon, and please give the channel a like. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. Now let's get started. Okay, uh, we're back here and we just laid this uh, rack down and I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, tin roofing uh, up to the both sides of this do uh, trace it out with a, a sharpie and then cut it with shears as you can see this is perfectly suited for ventilation and uh, both sides in the roof will be done uh, in this tin and uh, we'll just stick it next to the uh, the shed which is probably 40 50 feet from the house and make everything safe. Catch you on the next one. Okay, the next step what we're going to do is we are marking uh, for a template uh, right down the edge of this, I, I guess we'll call it a food service uh, holder. As you can see, I don't know, I'll go in there a little closer. As you can see the line right across. And we evened it up along there. Now in the next step, we'll, we, we will be uh, cutting. Okay, we got a little bit done. We are using shears to do the cutting. We have the pattern already set out and we did the first cut. I don't know how good you can make this out, but we're up to the curved end. And I will come back when we have the first cut done. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, this is the front. At, oh, I stand corrected. This is the back. We have fitted it right now, as you can see. And it looks like a job well done so, so far. This, we're going to use pop rivets in this. And so the next step is we have to make the other template and uh, cut that. I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching the whole video on that, but I'll, I'll get you back when we have the other side done. Okay, thanks for watching. Hang in there. Okay, we added two braces, one there and one there, and this is the back. So right over there you do see the piece that has been cut and we're just getting ready to figure out how we're going to attach this back either with pop rivets or screws. All right. Okay folks, we're back. Okay, we've gotten the back side of it done as you can see. And you have to realize that this is a project that is not going to be perfect because you're working with an unperfect surface. And these, uh, as you can see the front, we haven't gotten the, the door made yet. But as you can imagine, these were on the way to the dump when we salvaged them. And so the, the idea is to have some kind of hinges on for a door. I don't know if we're going to get to that this year. 
and we're putting again if you can see this up here we're putting a, a roof that'll be angled a little bit uh, but all in all as far away from the house as I want the propane uh, so you know uh, God hope there will never be a leak in the propane tanks but I'm hoping to get six in here we're going to use the shelves now I'm going to come over here and show you this is what it originally looked like salvaged I'm going to use these uh, these trays that I also picked up with them we got about four to six of them I'm not sure but we're going to use that and uh, anything braces we need we're going to uh, salvage right off of this one but you know sometimes you know uh, curb shopping gets you something you that, that's pretty good and I, I tell you what this is a pretty good thing all right back to here I think we're gonna call it a day uh, I put some braces on there actually if you can see what I did over here is I put I cut these braces here on the other one over there flattened them out and we use pop rivets I haven't done that yet pop rivets here and a lot of kudos goes to my son because I couldn't do this myself but you know again this is not professional we don't have all the professional tools needed but it's going to turn out where safety is my concern I want it away from the house out of the garage and where it is ventilated and this is exactly like Home Depot or any place that sells the uh, exchange propane tanks does it all right I'll see you later as we progress okay this is day two of our little project and what we're doing is we're installing the pop rivets uh, very easy procedure I just want to show you how to do it in case you don't know how to do it okay we uh, drilled the hole and we're putting the, the pop rivet in and then put the arrow pop riveter in and squeeze and it just makes an excellent fastener okay I'll, after we finish the pop rivets I'll get back on the next part of the installation okay we have completed the back of it and we're working on right now the roof uh, basically this is uh, turning out to be one nice little enclosure for my propane. Um, we're using uh, pop rivets as I showed you in the last segment and the only thing we really have to do is button up this right side here uh, as you can see and then we'll be ready for the door. Uh, I couldn't do this without my son doing an excellent job and uh, I'll get you on the next segment okay folks welcome back uh, today's project is we're going to be fabricating uh, a door for this uh, propane enclosure okay if you can see from uh, this this is uh, the frame of the other uh, rack that we we took apart scavenged and what we're going to do is use that as a frame for the door uh, I think it'll work good we just have to cut a little bit off the bottom there and uh, start the fabrication okay okay folks we have fabricated the frame for the door and uh, we have cut it to length uh, the next step is we're trying to figure out some braces uh, we've decided maybe to go a little bit angled to give it more strength 
but as you can see that this is making a very good frame for the door okay okay folks uh, we are almost done fabricating the frame of this enclosure uh, what we came up with if you remember I told you that for the back we took these supports out of here and we banged them out over there which still is not a bad idea for putting supports on the, the back but we came up with a different idea that instead of banging them out there's more strength if we just cut and formed them into here and made two of these braces and the one is pounded out on the bottom but as right now if you as you're looking at it right now this is the frame of the door and the tin will go over here we're going to put a, a latch okay folks we're getting ready to wrap this up we have uh, made the the door right now as I'm showing you right here we fastened it in by pop rivets and just give me a minute here and I'll turn it around <clears throat> okay this is the the finished project here on the door but we still have to put the hinges on and the latch and figure out how we're going to place the propane uh, barbecue tanks in here should be able to place two and then we're going to put a piece of wood on top of it and then two and then two as a total of six so I am very pleased with this it repurposed something that was on its way to the to the dump and uh, after I get the hinges on I'll be back with the completed project enjoy okay folks we have the finished product right here I'll just go around and show you these are the ventilation for the propane this is the back everything is braced I think it was a pretty good idea to be honest with you for propane storage enclosure just stumbled upon these as I told you when we were curb shopping okay we still have to put the latch on the door but the door came out real nice okay folks I'd just like to show you the finished product after we have painted it uh, we painted it with black paint and used a leaf to do the green and brown accents on all the sides I think it looked terrific we painted the top black if you take a quick look at it and the door <laughs> it actually sort of looks camo but uh, I think it came out really really good show you this side of it actually is probably better as you can see it came up we supported it with four concrete uh, slab things with one in the center that you can't see now but it does hold six full propane barbecue tanks please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications of any of my videos coming out thank you very much